heard Charlize was going to do it, but I still wanted to check it out, see what it was about. And she just, both of them brought up so many positive and uplifting things about the film. I mean, it's really about hope and second chances um, and being, you know, facing the facts about the past, but then being able to move on into the future um, and make it a more positive experience. And they were just pumped up, and I just wanted to be involved with the film. I just was like, let's do it. <laughs> Dara is, um, she's at a crossroads at her life. I mean, she's been put into this not-so-nice family situation, and I mean, she couldn't do anything about that, but she's at the age in her life where she can either go down, you know, the bad road that her mom went down, making bad decisions, um, or she can, you know, try to make her life a positive thing and um, be hopeful and give um, her, her mom a second chance at life. Charlize was so amazing to work with. I mean. I wish I could do every single film with her. Um, we talked a lot about not having to become the character or go through experiences that um, the character you're playing has gone through. Because part of acting is just, you know, um, using your imagination to put yourself into that character, being able to come back up out of that. And, um, so we just kind of worked on it, um, being angry, I guess. I mean, she's a teenager. I don't know. I mean, once I got into that role, I just kind of knew who Tara was and slipped into it, I guess. She was there for every single actor, every single crew member, there for everybody. She was invested completely. And so I learned just to trust my cast, my crew, put that faith in them and then also be able to dive down into my character but at the end of the day to pop back up and have a good time. Mick and I didn't know each other um, before our shooting but we kind of clicked. I mean he is such a fun guy. I mean, he kind of does feel like my, my young uncle. We'd always goof around. I mean, I think that was one of the funnest sets I've ever been on. Even though it was so intense, everyone grew together, and we were all staying in the same apartment. Uh, so we'd hang out afterwards. I mean, go see movies, watch movies in each other's apartments, play board games, go bowling. I mean, everything and anything. I learned so much. I mean, Dennis is power when he just walks into a room. You can sense he's there. He's, he's standing right behind you. Um, it was, he was so kind. I mean, from being such a, a nasty character, just like, you aided him in that movie. Um, and then, you know, we'd do the scene and he came up, like he'd pull his glove off so that his fingers were about that much, so he'd whack me. Um, and it didn't hurt at all because it was just fabric. And, and then he'd pull me back up, are you okay? Very caring and I mean, he'd sit with the crew at lunch and talk. I mean, we're really personable guy. I just, and watching him, oh, it was so magical. <laughs> One reason um, for storytelling is so people can relate to a story and it might help them figure out things in their own life. It can bring you happiness, um, joy, it can make you laugh, it can make you feel better, or um, you can feel, you know. I think, I think one reason why people go to movies is to feel something, you know, be touched. It's, by an actor or by a scene or by um, a storyline.